Hello, good morning and welcome to News Express coming your way every single Monday morning right here on Africa Business Radio. My name is Rachel and today we'll take a look at uh, leading stories from Business AM this morning. A whole lot of uh, interesting stories hitting the paper this morning. And much later, I'll be having the publisher Business AM uh, joining me to give us you know, more insight into all of these headlines and how the stories will develop Top in the front page, Chinese contractors in Africa turn to Europe for financing. Chinese contractors in Africa turn to Europe for financing. Uh, Remember that um, a lot has been going on lately, but we have bullet points here giving us slight explanations. China holds 21% of African debt. Uh, Another one here. With $3.4 billion debt, Nigeria leaves China to standard chartered for $14 billion real project credit hmm. new chinese epcs approach stem from sino shore hitting self-imposed limitations on country exposure now when i saw this i'm wondering why the diversion why are they now looking towards europe for financing well of course i'll, I'll have uh, mr philip react to this particular headline cbn stay hawkish on bdc's apex uh, Abitragas as MPC keeps rates flat. Jury still out on Apex Bank over Nara stability. Policy rates call in tandem with expectations. Apex rates now flow from CBN and not speculators. Uh, that one too we'll talk about. In the summary section, roadblocks in Shell's asset sale continues on page three. Uh, bringing home $34 billion remittances. That one's on the finance and investment section, page 13. Energy power and renewable, we have a Dangote, NCDMB, Boost Oil and uh, Oil R&D. Dangote, NCDMB, Boost Oil R&D, page 26, catch that one. United Airlines direct to Washington. United Airlines direct to Washington. I'll just move over to the commodities and agric section where we have soilless farming, makes waves is that hydroponics well you can find out on page 25 of business am this morning now i'm bringing in the publisher business am philip isakwa to join me for conversations good morning uh, mr philip it's good to have you on the show how was your weekend it's good to be back weekend was good i hope yours was good as well uh interesting things happening uh, all over the world, especially in our dear country, Nigeria. Indeed, you can say that. Well, one of the interesting things, of course, is uh, the very first headline on Business AM this morning, talking about Chinese contractors in Africa turning to Europe for financing. This is a sort of like a departure from their typical sourcing of finance from China. So there are questions around the reason for this particular trend and why, why people are seeking help from other sources at this point. This is an interesting story, you know, coming from uh, a, a country that uh, seemed to have gone out to the world to pro- provide financing mm. for uh, for a number of projects, you know, that it is carrying out, you know, in this uh, in, in this global competition that they have with uh, the United States, you know, and uh, other other uh, Western uh, uh, economies, you know, uh, the, the what you call economic power, uh, you know, uh, being being extended, you know, to Africa, uh, to to some uh, Latin American countries, and in some other places, mm. you know. So, so this is an interesting one. Interesting in the sense that uh, they, we we used to hear uh, the, the the people who actually get the job, you know, when Chinese uh, when when China moves to Africa, for instance, uh, and and then uh, gets some kind of uh, contract that it wants to do. It 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 piggies back to the the contractors it has in the, in, in the home country. So you have uh, the CCECC, for instance, you know mm-hmm. that are doing some projects in in Nigeria, you know, and then they provide the the, the, the financing. The the Chinese uh, uh, Exim Bank, for instance, will provide a lot of financing. You have uh, uh, some other uh, uh, credit and uh, credit insurance corporation, the Sino Shop, for instance, that will provide backing. You know, but we are hearing something different now because uh, 
I, I think it's about gearing in, in, in finance, you know. Mm -hmm. Perhaps uh, they are over leveraged, you know, and uh, they, they have a threshold, you know, that uh, they must not uh, uh, go over. And uh, uh, they have, in some cases, they have reached those limits. But more interesting is, is the fact that uh, why, why look for, why, why get funds uh, in, in such a difficult uh, situation when it is available uh, 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 cheaper uh, outside so mm. perhaps uh, that that will be a key a key uh, point you know that uh, there are other sources for them to to have funds you know than than uh, from their home country so europe is available for funds you know, i mean uh, i watch with funds and uh, if they can have those funds at uh, uh, some some say ridiculous uh, rates or uh, cheaper rates, then it's better to go there than 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 to 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 rely back home, you know, right. for for the typical thing. But it's more about them being uh, uh, maximally exposed already back in home country. You know, some some Ch Ch China has set a limit, you know, in some cases, you know, for, uh, over what uh, um, over which they they would not go uh, go, you know, if, for instance. Uh, if they set a limit for 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 exposure, mm. you know they 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 they, they will. Well, once they get to that limit, you know they say no, we we won't provide funds locally anymore. You know, so the Chinese contractors, you know, who are who are uh, uh, handling uh, projects in Africa, you know, are now looking to 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 Europe for for this financing. You know, perhaps more be because uh, they are cheaper. You know, and then we have, uh, for instance, they say. Uh, currently, you know, China holds uh, 21% of African debt, you know, th th that's mm -hmm. quite a lot, you know, Africa is exposed, uh, the, the, to, if you look at the, the quantum of African debt, you know, uh, to the world, you know, 21% of that is owned by China. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we also know that in America, they own quite a lot, a, a good chunk of American debt as well, you know, so so the, the, that's something interesting, you know, uh, perhaps uh, things have become a little bit tighter back at home you know uh, uh we, we've seen nigeria move away from uh, uh, i mean nigeria has been uh, as, uh, it's, it's somehow leveraged you know with regards to china yeah. you know in terms of borrowing but but you, uh, you we we saw a, a, a move by nigeria to to in, in terms of uh, it's a 14 billion rail project moving moving away from uh, from china to go to uh, stand charts again Perhaps because the conditions are better, the, uh, the, the the rates are better, and and and, and that's all. It just it just the way the economics works. You mm. know what? Where where it's easier for you, you go you go to those places to right. to, to seek for funds. Yeah. Or could it be possible that we're almost getting to our debt limit with China, and so you know what? We just need to you know move away and seek other op options. Yeah, but I guess the managers of the of of the Nigerian economy would know exactly what they are doing. Mm. You know, uh, Nigeria owes China 3.4 billion as of March yes. that won this year. You know, according to the DMO, you know, uh, covering 18 as 11 loans facilitated from China Exim Bank. You know, uh, uh, but again, you have you always have your portfolio. You need to manage your portfolio very well. You know, you cannot leverage. Your, I mean, you cannot be. Uh, geared in, in one direction, you know, so that when trouble comes, you you you, you have a, a, a your, your basket cannot be cannot just contain one 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 item, mm. you know. So you cannot uh, have all your your facility, all your, your uh, loan facilities in, in one uh, from one one source, you know. So you have to uh, balance the basket. You, know? uh, I mean, it, China is I'm still willing to to to. To, to lend to Nigeria, you know, uh, as much as uh, uh, Nigeria wants, you know, but uh, uh, I guess managers of uh, the, 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 the debt situation think that uh, it's better to look at, uh, uh, look in other areas, you know, uh, especially when conditions are better. The, the what's it called, the stand chart uh, uh, conditions, uh, I believe, are, are, are better than mm. what uh, China is offering, you know, and then, uh, of course, uh, Going to stand chart will mean that uh, you you meet uh, some conditions that are, are different from the conditions that uh, China will offer, you know. But uh, uh, by and large, I believe that uh, analysts will tell you that uh, <laughs> they will prefer you go to stand chart, you know, if uh, the, the, the the rates are, are, are comfortable right. than to go to China because uh, you you. you 
so many things go up in that regard. Okay, away from that story now, uh, let's move over to the second story on the cover page, uh, talking about the uh, the uh, the CBN's move. I think that's uh, the one we have there. Uh, just a minute now. Um, yeah. yeah. So the CBN the stay hawkish, hawkish yeah. on BDC's AFEX and all of that. Uh, that's at the just concluded MPC meeting. They chose to maintain status quo. They left the monetary policy rate at 11.5%, cash reserve ratio at 27.50%, liquidity ratio 30%, asymmetric corridor uh, plus 100 uh, and uh, negative 700 basis points. And of course, analysts have said that, you know what, well, this is is desirable to just keep all of the policy parameters constant so as to spur uh, economic recovery. Should we really ex- expect changes, you know, based on this move they've made? Uh, you see, the, the okay, so an, analysts uh, generally had that call that uh, uh, these rates, I mean, NPC rates are, were going to be uh, left uh, flat, Constant, you know, yes. unchanged, you know. So m- most of the analysts that we, we, we sampled, you know, long before before the meeting mm. uh, came came up with that verdict that uh, uh, you're not likely to see any changes, you know, they're, they're, they're not going to make any changes. But there was also something that was uh, uh, trending, so to speak, you know, the, the Naira was in, in serious uh, uh, trouble, you know, and then uh, you had the, what you call the inflation rate had uh, continued to, to slowly cr- uh, wind down, mm-hmm. even though inflation is still high at 17.01%, I think, you know, you, 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 you there was this Outside the analyst network, there was still this expectation that there was going to be a reaction to uh, to the the, the uh, yo-yoing of the naira, you mm-hmm. know, uh, at the unofficial market, so to speak. I don't know whether we are still allowed these days after uh, Emekule, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> that outburst by Emekule, if yeah. we are still allowed to, to call any other rates, but uh, mm-hmm. the CDN rate. But the point is that. Uh, People expected that, uh, you know, uh, after after the, the central bank at the last meeting, the, la- the, the meeting before this one, mm-hmm. you know, uh, had uh, withdrawn uh, supply of uh, forex to VDCs, you know, and then uh, you had this situation where the rate began to respond, you know. Uh, all manner of people uh, in the market, you know, using that opportunity, like we said last week, to put pressure on, on the CBN to to act differently, you know. So w- there was some some degree of expectation that uh, uh, the central bank was going to panic and now say, oh, maybe uh, we have to release uh, what's it called. Uh, start giving BDC some money again. But no, we, we, we had a very hawkish, uh, uh, should we say, uh, uh, MPC or hawkish uh, central bank coming out the uh, same day, you mm-hmm. know, and you, you saw that, Rachel, the, the central bank governor, uh, uh, Godwin Emekule, you know, <laughs> in, a, in a completely different mode, mm-hmm. you know, uh, mode when he, when he was addressing uh, addressing the media after the meeting, yeah. you know, and particularly going after a particular a website, you mm. know, uh, th- that was expression of anger against uh, uh, the BDCs, uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the arbitrals, you know, the people who, who uh, enjoy arbitrage, you know, who are, who are uh, you know, ruining the market, so to speak, you know. So, so <laughs> the, the, you don't expect anything. I think normally what happens is that once they take a decision, you know, uh, you know, they they wait it out to see you know, how m- much effect it will take. Because sometimes the decisions don't really begin to, to, to play out, you know, not that they, they decide today and then tomorrow you see that uh, uh, the market begins to, 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 to take a, a turn, you know. So they, they wait out because there are so many other parameters to consider, so many other issues to consider, not just uh, the fact that it didn't give BDCs. But uh, apparently the, the, the CPN is still angry, you know, uh, with... Uh, what's going on uh, outside the, the, the official market. And that's why they're coming up out to say, you know, rates cannot be called from outside the normal uh, uh, CBN uh, uh, approved or uh, what you call uh, monetary policy approved uh, uh, system. Mm-hmm. You know, you cannot be, the speculators cannot be the one determining rates, you know, or, or fixed or putting rates up. And then, you know, there's a, there's a rate, you know, uh, but again, there'll be those who tell you that, uh, well, there's a market out there, yes. you know, so 
the market is saying something else, you know, uh, you don't expect, uh, uh, what's it called? The, the point is that there isn't enough supply, so to speak, of, uh, of, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, foreign exchange, mm. you know. But if you have an economy that is so, so dollarized or so, 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 uh, uh, so talk so much about uh, foreign uh, forex, you know, in terms of uh, uh, how it is managed, then you, you, you're bound to have this kind of situation. And that's what is, what is really going on. So mm. they've kept, they've kept all the parameters, you know, flat again, you know, kept all the parameters, you know, uh, again, perhaps also to, con to continue to watch, you know, uh, and see what happens. You know, we, we I mean, the, the Naira isn't doing, doing well at all. You know, uh, I don't know whether it's the road to 1,000. We don't know, you know, but uh, uh, we hope that uh, 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 things get better before they get really, really, really uh, uh, bad, you know, than what we what we're seeing right now. Mm. I hope so too, Mr. Philip. There are a lot of really catchy stories um, and I hope that uh, our readers will find uh, a copy of Business uh, AM this morning. Particularly, I'm interested in that one on page 17, talking about protecting your mental health at work. I really appreciate this particular piece and uh, I urge readers to take a look at that one on page 17 of the paper. Thank you so much, Mr. Philip. We'll see how all of these stories will develop in the course of the week. Have a wonderful full day. Thank you, great job. And you too. That was Philippe Isakba. He's a publisher of Business AM Nigeria's fastest growing financial and business newspaper.